Hi friends, I hope you are all doing well. So today I'm going to be showing you how I made Flemeth's 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 why can I not say that word? I'm going to be making Flemeth's leg armor from Dragon Age. So this is my absolute favorite leg design that I have ever seen. I love it. It's wonderful. It's kind of hard to walk in, but you know what? It's fine because we're doing it for them cute leg looks. If you hear any noise, I finally got a 3D printer and this poor thing has not known peace since I got it. I'm tired of this, Grandpa! That's too damn bad! I have it in here temporarily. It's gonna go in my guest room. Right now it's like right there and I'm currently like eight hours into an 11 hour print. If you hear anything, that's what it is and I'm very sorry. So yeah, I guess let's just go ahead and hop into the tutorial on how I made these cute leggies. I love them. They're very sweaty, very hot. <laughs> all right, so first I wanna say that the Foamery sent me this roll of six millimeter foam. You all know I've been using their foam for a really long time and they're my absolute favorite. They're always my go-to. So thank you so much to the Foamery for sending me this. I definitely recommend them if you're looking for some good high quality, high density foam. The first thing that I do is make a pattern for the thigh armor. I did that by wrapping my thigh in plasti wrap and painter's tape and then I marked out a pattern while looking at my reference. I put this on a, some 6mm foam, pinned it, traced it, and marked where the detail lines will be cut out. Once I cut it out, I cut out a wedge to form a sharp angle in the foam, and to do this I hold my blade at an angle, I know it doesn't look like it's at an angle, but it definitely is, and I make a slanted cut, and then I repeat on the other side of the line that I traced. Once cut, the middle of the foam easily peels out, exposing this little channel. And then I heat it up with my heat gun, apply some barge, heat it up again, and I press them together. And now I have some thigh armor that has these cool little angles in them just like Flemeth has. It's so hard to find some reference photos of her shin armor. All I'm going to do basically is wrap my leg in plastic wrap, painter's tape, and make my own little just basic shin armor pattern. <laughs> Don't at my dirty socks here, they're covered in cat hair and old paint. They're my craft socks! Pretend that I'm putting the pattern on a 4mm foam. I'm using 6mm here, but I didn't like the end result when I tested this, so I did end up putting it on a 4mm foam instead, but I just I didn't film that process. It's the same exact thing, it's just I ended up putting it on a thinner foam. So yeah, I just pinned it down, traced it, and cut it out. And Again, pretend I'm gluing 4mm pieces together, but yeah, that's basically how I made the shin armor. Once those were made, I made the knee piece. I adjusted the pattern a bit after making this pattern, made it bigger, and I also curved it in the middle so that it didn't look so flat. I also cut it into four pieces and angled all the sides so that when I put them together it created these sharp angles similar to the reference while also still being curved for my knee. Next was to add all the edging onto the armor. So for the knee pieces, I cut out these top and bottom edging pieces out of 6mm foam. They're all angled at the bottom so that they point forwards a bit after gluing them on. I also made these weird fin things that are on the outside of her knee pieces. I used 4mm foam as the base, triangle things, and the decorative arches that sit on top. And I filled the back of the triangles with a piece of 4mm foam. The edging on the thigh and shin armor were made with these strips of 6mm foam that are angled on one side. Now that everything is almost assembled, I do a quick pass with my rotary tool and smooth out any uneven spots. To attach the shin pieces, I'm going to use some velcro, so I add a strip to one side and a strip to another onto a piece of fabric close to the armor so that it's almost a seamless closure. I could have done a zipper as well, however I didn't have any of this length. so.
Next I glue on the fins and these round things, uh, which are I guess rivets. For the shoe armor, I wrap this shoe in plastic wrap and tape. She isn't wearing heeled shoes in the game, but I don't own any flat shoes that are thin at the ankle to accommodate a sleek, curvy shin armor, so this is gonna have to do. After taping, I cut the pattern off the shoe and put it on some black stretchy fabric, and then I sew all of the pieces together and wrap the shoe one more time, this time for the armor pieces. I mark out all the pieces and I put them on a 4mm foam and I glue them all together. And then I also pin them to the shoe to make sure that they all fit. And then I just barge cement them together. I'll go over the shoe attachment at the end, but for now I'm finishing gluing all the pieces together, starting with this upside down thigh piece that goes onto the shin. I just glue it onto the armor with barge. As expected, I found it very difficult to walk with those inner fins, so I cut them down quite a bit and I used my heat gun to bend them inwards as much as possible. I have no idea how she walks like this. I love her design so much, but these inner fins are just so... in the way. <laughs> Next, I add the finishing touches, a 4mm strip of foam onto the knee, googly eye rivets onto the thigh armor, and a 2mm strip of foam onto the shoes. After everything is good, I use my soldering iron and score little battle marks into the armor. After crying over my failed print, <laughs> I gave the armor three coats of Plasti Dip, usually waiting about an hour or two between each coat. Once the last coat is dry, I dry brush some Folk Art Silver Acrylic Paint onto all of my pieces. I do this lightly because I will be layering up the silver. I did three layers of the silver. Once I'm happy with how many layers there are, I add the rest of the attachments. The foot pieces are attached with velcro and a buckle that goes underneath the shoe. After that, I mix some black and brown paint to create a dark brown, which will be the dirt and weathering on the armor. I use a small brush, a sponge, a pretty large scratchy, scratchy brush to layer everything on. There's no real technique to what I'm doing here. I'm just throwing paint in all the corners, layers, and on the bottom of the shoe armor to kind of make them look a little bit more worn out. Not too much though, because her armor is still quite shiny and silver in the game, but just enough to give it dimension. I have a feeling I might go back and darken up a few areas before I bring this to a convention because it can be hard to see weathering on camera, but I will let you know in the final video when I complete this entire costume what changes I make. I go over the raised areas one more time with some silver paint and that's it. So here's how I put everything on. I slide my foot through the foot armor, which is still so weird to me the way that I did this, but I don't hate it because there's no like attachment seams or anything like that. And then I just velcro the shoe armor onto the little shoe sock that I made and then I buckle it in at the bottom. Then I attach the shin and knee armor with velcro in the back. The thigh armor gets attached with a buckle. I may end up putting velcro on the leg. Did I already say that? Why did I write that twice? I'm definitely gonna put some velcro on the leggings because the thigh armor kept sliding around and it was annoying to walk with. I'll also need to reshape the inner fins because they got a little messed up during the painting process so I'm gonna walk kind of weird with my legs all spread. <laughs> um, anyway, so that they don't rub together. But overall, I'm really happy with how these turned out. They look really close to the reference and I feel really badass while wearing them so you know. That's all that matters, right? <laughs> so yeah.
that is that's everything that's how i made the things <laughs> Oh! Now I can't post that clip. I just yelled that you're very sweaty. That's different. Thank you guys so much for hanging out and for watching this video. I hope it was informative, a little bit at least. And thank you so much to the foamery for sending that six millimeter foam. I was able to make things and I very much so appreciate it. And again, I've been using their foam for quite a while now and I'm very happy with it. Definitely, if you are looking for some foam, check them out. I will have them linked in the description. And yeah, so um, I will see you guys with whatever part of Flemeth that I'm going to upload next. <laughs> Have a super awesome rest of the day and I will see you guys next time. Bye.